Welcome to this QuickBooks 2018 tutorial for beginners. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University, and in this video I want to walk you through how to prepare an estimate in QuickBooks 2018. All right, so here we are on the home screen. You'll see the estimate um, button here. Now, one thing to realize about an estimate in QuickBooks is this is a non-posting transaction, okay? Now, what that means is that it does not post to your accounting records, all right? It's just an estimate. So you, you bid on a job, you quote, and you send the customer an estimate, and then if they accept it, then it can go to an invoice, all right? So, but for the time being, all we're gonna do is prepare an estimate for this customer. All right, so let's go ahead and click estimates. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pick your customer and the job, and if you don't have this set up already, you can add a new one, uh, add a new customer, add a new job, whatever the case may be, all right? So let's say on this one, we're going to pick, let's say it's Larson's Pet Shop Remodel, all right? So we choose the customer and the job. We look at the class, and if you have classes and you're doing class tracking, you would select your class, and you're gonna make sure that the date and all the address and everything is correct, all right? So all you're gonna do is go down here and you're gonna choose the items that go into this uh, remodel job for Larson's Pet Shop, all right? So let's say first we have some planning, and you'll see here you choose the item, uh, it puts in the description automatically. You can change this to add whatever you would like. Quantity, one. Okay, we're going to say that this is going to take four hours. Okay, the unit of measure is set up with this item. The cost is 40, so the amount is 160, and we have a markup of 50%. All right, you can change the markup to be a dollar amount or a percentage, whatever you would like and it's non-taxable because this is a service. All right, so let's say that the next thing that we're going to do here are blueprints, all right? And we are going to just say one because the cost is a flat amount, okay? $500, we don't have a markup, okay? So it's just $500, all right? So let's say that the next thing is gonna be you know, let's say subs, we have to do some electrical work. All right, so let's say the subs are gonna, you know, we, they've uh, told us that it's gonna be five hours or five, you know, they, we don't have a unit of measure set up in this item. So it's just five and let's say it's $25. Okay, they charge us, eh, it's $25 an hour, let's say, and the markup, we want to mark that up because these are subs and we want to mark up what it's costing us. We're going to mark that up to the customer. Okay, so in here you can say 100%, all right? And it's going to go to 250. Or you can just simply type in an amount, okay? 100, and it's going to go to 225, okay? So if you want the percentage, you just type in 50 and percent, and it's going to mark it up. All right, so we'll say that we have one more item here, and let's say that, uh, oh, we'll just say that uh, there's gonna be some lumber that we're gonna charge for, and whatever the, the quantity is, it's gonna be $10, $95, 950 all right? So we do have tax on the lumber uh, because we're selling the lumber and it's a physical good. So you'll see down here that the subtotal 1735, the markup 14250, tax 7363, total estimate 195113. All right. So then what we can do at this point is you can email this right now. You can print it and mail it. You can email it later, whatever the case may be. And then we're going to hit save and close. Okay. So now let me just show you quickly where this estimate shows up. So one, one easy way is if you just go to your chart of accounts, there's multiple ways you can run reports and so on. But if you go to your chart of accounts, scroll all the way to the bottom, you're gonna see estimates down here and you'll see how it says non-posting. It says the same thing for purchase orders and sales orders, okay? So I can double click on estimates and it'll bring up and you'll see Larson's Pet Shop right here, all right? So that's it. That's 
it's very simple to create an estimate. Uh, there are some additional steps, you know, so if you want to create an invoice from this estimate, you, you simply can follow the flowchart and you'll see here. So if I go to create an invoice and I choose uh, Larson's pet shop, all right, remodel, you'll see, it'll say, hey, there's an estimate in here. Do you want to invoice this? All right. And this gets into a uh, subject of another video, but if we click OK, then at that point you can progress invoice and uh, go ahead and set up an invoice for your customer. So if you need a deposit on the front end or it's throughout the job and you need to uh, do a progress invoice, you can definitely do that. All right. So for more uh, free QuickBooks videos, especially uh, figuring out the common mistakes that a lot of QuickBooks users uh, make, head on over to QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org, where as a member uh, of the QuickBooks University, when you purchase the training tutorials, I do answer all of your personal QuickBooks questions. So head on over, qbuniversity.org.